Hello, welcome to week six of my Sunday rambles. I actually have a topic this week instead of just, you know, talking about, well, story time, I guess. It's kind of story time what I've been doing the past few times, weeks. Uh, but I actually have a topic today. Uh, and it's not really like, yeah, you know, it didn't really pop up because I read something. Well, I did read something, but not because I read like a specific page or something. Um, today, I want to talk about the like difference between online storytelling and like published books, or like online storytelling, like meaning stories that are only published on online sites, specifically more like fandomy kind of sites, I guess. Um, because I read a lot. Like, most of the free time I have, I just read, and like, 90 or more than 90% of the time I spend reading, I am reading anything online, most of it is fanfiction, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just stuff like that, which I usually read, and so I have gotten used to the fact that I can, for one, a, just search up anything and there is probably at least one person out there who has written that. Let's go read that McDonald's x Burger King fanfiction right there. Yep, and it's probably gonna involve smut as well. Uh, yeah, you can find a lot of things out there, but um, if you go like search for a book like an actual published book that you can buy with money and all that. It's like, it feels restrictive, kind of. Because if I go like into a library right now, if I like go into my school library, for example, admittedly that's not the biggest library out there, but it's like the closest example for me currently. And like, if I look there, for honestly just like any kind of book that isn't like involving if there's like a relationship between two characters, a romantic relationship, like I think nearly all of them are like um, hetero relationships, which is sad because like I know in my school there is also a lot of people who are on heterosexual just because yeah and like they don't really have a lot of books that are like specific, fallen on like specific topics because they're more seen as like taboo topics that you don't talk about. And for example, if you have any kind of like queer stories that you want to tell, they're often like scrubbed clean in a way. Like, um. <sighs> uh, if you like want to write about like a lesbian couple it'll be a lot of the time it'll be like more <laughs> like clean and femme that sounds really bad i'm not saying that you can't be like a more femme presenting person and be a lesbian what i'm saying is that for example there aren't a lot of stories out there about like two butt lesbians for example who fall in love and or like if you have gay relationships it's a lot of the time it falls like either in the shot type of like there being one like smaller guy and then another bigger guy or like both white dudes who are just the most boring people you will ever meet or I guess never meet in your life and it's just tiring honestly I bought a book recently. It's called. I forgot what it was called. Hold on. Uh, it's called Le Beau's Die at the End. And it's a nice book. <laughs> uh, it's a nice book. But, like, I haven't finished reading it, by the way. Um, it's a really nice book. But it's. I could have read this with, like, any other person like because they're both boys in this book this is a gay book but so far at least it might as well have just been a girl and a boy who fall in love 
Because, like, I don't... So far, I don't see, like, anything different. And that's honestly sad. <laughs> I want to read stories about people being unapologetically queer and just doing what they want to want to like i want people to like openly call themselves things like call themselves a faggot and st say that this is something that they're proud about or like any other things like that and to only have stories that are okay for the general public to read for like a straight public to read a straight cis public to read it just gets so tiring to have the same thing over and over again and it also a lot of the time goes for things like mental health because I can go online and try to find stories or like not to try I will find stories about people of characters a lot of the time who are have it, who are in the worst mental state imaginable and the people who write these stories that like because i wrote these stories myself too it's like their way of expressing like the hurt that they are feeling and but if you like try to find books like actual books or like more of like established stories maybe it's a lot of the time repeating the same thing if i want to find a story about like a person a character who's struggling with an eating disorder like nearly all of the stories that i will find have like the person who's struggling with it be a girl like be a female person and it's just not what i want to read as someone who doesn't like being a girl who doesn't feel like a girl because i am like i am i am a trans man and i also want to read stories about male people who go through similar things than i do and it's the same for any other or a lot of the other mental kind of mental illnesses if i like try to find a story about a character who struggled with depression or suicidal thought a lot of the people a lot of, not a lot of the people a lot of the time the character that is portrayed to have these kind of struggles will be female and i'm just tired of seeing that over and over again i want to have stories about just something else like i'm not the thing is like i don't like reading stories where the main character is female anymore not because i don't like reading stories that have female characters but because a lot of the time it's just the same thing over and over again and which is also the reason why books have kind of just lost their spark for me like i will try and find a book that i like but ultimately i keep going back to reading online again because i can't find what i want in books like maybe i'm just not looking closely enough but like if you go into a bookstore like a conventional bookstore you will only like find scrap clean stories that are deemed okay for everyone to buy i know that there's probably like small authors out there who publish the kind of stories as books as stories that you can buy that i want to read but they're just so hard to find because that isn't what like book publishers want to show usually and <laughs> it's it's sad i'm sad about this i don't have i don't have a satisfying end for this i'm just sad and tired about this thing that's been bothering me for a, for a long time <laughs> so yeah i guess that's the outro for today i see you in the next one it will be less ranty and less angry because i know what i want to do next week 
Let's see you then. Bye bye.